hello at ten past nine in the morning. I just woke up. I'm looking at like fringe again. That's really quite impressive. We've got the gal pals coming over today. It was very hastily arranged quite late on yesterday evening. I think they're all coming. Well, at least one family's worth is coming. I don't know if the other one's replied yet. I'll have to have a look. Here's a funny little idiosyncrasy of mine I've never shared on the channel before. Now, normally all day I use the same mug. I rinse it out, even if I'm having something different, give it a rinse and use it again all day. But new day, new mug. It's symbolic. It's like it's a new start. So even though I could easily just go and wash that cup by hand, it's a bit more difficult when, you know, it's been overnight and it's dried up. There's just something symbolic about new day, new mug for me. It, new leaf new start reset this happened since lockdown two years ago it's a bit of caffeinated stuff going in oops wrong one always do that Somebody thought they'd spotted a continuity error in the vlogs the other day. They thought they had seen my pot jumping, apparently by magic, from here to the side. But actually, I've got two. I've got a big one, uh, which does more cups with. So if I think I'm going to have a few, I'll do a big one. Ah, oh, actually, before I do go and edit, I need to make a very important phone call. Here is a pile of paperwork, which I've obviously turned around for, you know, privacy reasons. They're all things to do with Isabel. Now... One of them to do with her vaccine, her booster jab. Now, for some random reason, they decided to schedule it to take place somewhere that's absolutely miles away from us and would require two buses each way. But my friend said the other week when she was here, oh, no, just ring them up, they'll change it. So I did, and they did. So now we've changed the venue, but we haven't changed the date. But Isabel came back from college yesterday. She's auditioned for something through college, but she's had a call back. And the date falls exactly on her booster jab. So I need to get it changed because she's going to have to do that audition because it might lead to a job. The other things are I need to book her a site test i was thinking i might try and get her to book her own but i don't know it'll be much quicker and easier if i do it because i won't have to wait for her to be ready uh, also confirming the next dermatology appointment as well i daydreamed i didn't listen to the menu i would have to start over it's just kind of hissing it just went click Boop, 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 like that, and then change to that screen. So that was no good. Could try and do it online, I suppose. Yay, they called me back. They rang me back and they apologised we got cut off, and uh, it's in the diary. Got a new one scheduled in. Yay! I've bedded. It's quarter to 11 now. I've finished my number one cup of coffee for the day. I'm gagging for a second. I was going to tell you something really important. Oh, yeah. Actually, it's not that important. It's just important to me. I've left the charger for this camera at my boyfriend's house in the hallway. The thing is, I am such a bad sleeper. Anything will wake me up. I have to turn that off at the wall. The light on there will keep me awake. I can see it through my eyelids. And so, if I'm charging a battery, I'm not normally charging batteries overnight, to be honest, but I'd forgotten at IB's. We were out late and I forgot, so I had to put it in overnight. So I had to put it in the hallway and that's why it got forgotten because it wasn't where it usually is, you see. Anyway, I'm not sure, but I think I've run out of rice cakes. <gasps> oh, look at that lovely bright sunshine. Now there's a reason I'm not filming up there. It's because it's covered in clutter. I've got a plan B if there's no rice cakes. Da, 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 da. <gasps> no rice cakes, mm, but I've got a plan B. Plan B involves going down to the cellar. Uh, yes, it's the emergency supply. Oh, see, this is a poor substitute, this is. It's those paprika rice cakes I bought, not realising that basically they're like, it's like the kind of flavouring you get on crisps or party snacks. It's incredibly strong tasting. I'm gonna have that with butter on for my breakfast. I've just realised I'm actually going to have to go to Tesco prior to the Gal Pals arrival today, but I've got three hours before they're due, so it's okay. I've got time, so I'll have breakfast, have a quick bath, get dressed, etc., and nip down to Tesco. I never go in the day. Well, I very, very rarely go in the day, I should say, because if I go in the night, there's no queues. You just go straight to the checkout, pay and get out. And, you know, it's easy. You just walk around and not bumping into people. So especially during the pandemic, I've made it my habit to, you know, go at nine o'clock at night. So, but anyway, not today. So I'm gonna be braving the crowds. It might be a bit more awkward to film, but I'll, I'll take the GoPro or something. But say this one, I get stopped. I got stopped again. My last Cardiff vlog that I did, I was um, filming in Tesco's by Cardiff Central Rail Station. 
and a security guard came over and they're always friendly there's never any trouble apart from Iceland I, they didn't say anything in Iceland but they were giving me meanie meanie gut stares because I was looking over at them and smiling as I do they probably couldn't tell because I had the mask on but they were scowling back at me all of them oh <laughs> I think I'm a store inspector for the most part anyway yeah Tesco security guard he was absolutely fine he was quite interested I just said oh yeah I forgot a vlogging channel just showing people what I'm buying <laughs> anyway yeah I'll, I think I'll take the GoPro to Tesco's it's a bit more surreptitious now that does look like quite a lot of food but I can assure you it's mostly air this is future me interjecting because there's about to be a very random jump in time. I went to have a bath and I heard back from one of the gal pals mams that they weren't available for today. So I thought I'll have a bath, I'll get dressed and then I will immediately ring the other mum and say does she want to just do something with us? Next thing, I am just got out of the bath, just literally about to do my moisturiser and there's a rat a tat out of the door and my friend Alison turned up without her daughter. The girls were making their own private arrangements for another day. I'm doing something uncharacteristically spontaneous. A friend of mine turned up at the door and said, should we go to Ponty? And I said, uh, 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 yeah, all right then. <laughs> so we are. There we have the delightful Liddles. <laughs> Here we have these lovely railway arches. More red lights. Oh, it looks lovely in the sunshine, doesn't it? I love the sound on this ticket machine. <laughs> oh, didn't it? I no. thought that was the sound. I thought it sounded no, like that robot on Star know, Wars. Bing bong, bing bong, bong. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't do it. Oh, fucking. We've been in there in the past having coffee and oh. stuff. We're not in the church, there's a cafe, but they're Cafe yeah. Connect. We're going into purple shoots. My friend here that I'm with has got a shelf in there of some crafts that she's made and they're for sale. Oh, there, which ones are yours? Yeah, sea glass. Oh, yeah, you know, Izzy was collecting sea glass the other day for a friend. It's this friend. <laughs> they're beautiful, lovely little earrings. I was just asking her how she got them to match so well, these sea glass things. You know, the sea you find on beaches that's all rounded. Well, she's done that by hand. She's made it all match. That's amazing. All right, mask on. These ones here? Yeah. Oh wow, that's amazing. They're really intricate, aren't they? Mm. How long did it take you to make that Christmas tree? I didn't have to take that one. <laughs> Are you? It's not Christmas. Oh, I see you updating it. How long did that take to make? Um, two hours. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. Look at the little shells. Uh -huh. Oh, here comes the replacement. Oh, oh, it's absolutely lovely that people are handcrafting things now in this day and age of mass production. There's something really, really special about a unique one off handmade item made with love. Oh, here come the price tags. <laughs> Looking at everybody else's now. Look at these ones done on slates. Oh, and horseshoes, some of these of that, and the pebbles. <laughs> Look at that, I like the way they've used the natural sort of contour of the stone. Back to my friend's ones again. 
Amazing. I'd have never thought to do that with sea glass. I've seen so much of it, you know, on the floor and never thought to pick it up. They do classes in there apparently, my friend was telling me. Yeah, yeah. There's the market. There's a few market stalls out and about. Oh, look at those lovely colourful fruits. We decided we're going to go in. Oh, where's it gone? Oh, it's right in front of me. Prince's. You can not see the sign very easily in this particular angle. Those blueberries are massive. <laughs> I might come back and get some of those actually before we leave. Ooh. Oh, it's busy in here. It's busy, 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 but apparently there's upstairs seating, so we are going to give that a go. Obviously a very popular venue. It's the grill room. <laughs> they were like lightning, they appeared in no time. I just nipped to the loo, I came back and there it was. Mmm, that was nice. We are now leaving. Uh, gonna have a look at some shops, I think Sainsbury's, but I'm not sure. We're going with the flow. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to pop into B&M if I'm sounding muffled. It's because, yeah, it's that. Might as well grab a basket just in case, even though I'm only technically browsing. You know what it's like. I've got my eyes peeled for the Coca instant noodles, but um, they've only got the big ones. Ours have run out. It'll be Easter before we know it, won't it? Veggie Oxo cubes, that's something I've run out of. One pound sixty-nine for eighteen. In you go. Looking for rice cakes. I don't know where anything is in this one. Oh, I better keep my boyfriend out of here. He'll be buying more boxes. It says feel me. Oh, oh, yeah, that's very nice, isn't it? I'd be standing on that with my bare feet and I wouldn't want to get off. I'd just be sort of padding at it with my feet like cats do with their paws, you know. They've got Easter cards in here. They're pretty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think we're going to head back. Oh, male voice choir, mosaic. That's lovely, isn't it? You get a lot of them in Wales, you know. We're a very musical nation. If you watch the Welsh language channel, S4C or S Pedwerec, there's loads of live music on there, absolutely loads. And a lot of choirs. Just found out that the machine here doesn't take cash anymore. You've got to use a card. We're going to have to go up one floor and come down. Come on. Ah, OK. <laughs> I'm just following Alice and I don't know where to go. <laughs> I'm not really that used to going to car parks as a non-driver. Got a few with IB though. We're lost. Found it. Took us a while, but we got there. Bit of a queue to get out. We're hoping for the bing bong noise. It was a bit disappointing the last time after all that build up. <laughs> oh, that was lovely. <laughs> bye bye purple shoots, that's where it is, look. If you want to pop in, I wonder if that museum's back open because it was shut last time I went for a long time due to flood damage. 
Right, there we are. There's the Muni Arts Centre there. I've been to see shows in there in the past. Concerts and a, a musical as well one time. That's a beautiful building there in front of yeah. us as well. Lovely stained glass window. I don't know what it is. Do you? I thought it was the registry office. Oh. I think. I'm 100% sure. I'll have a look online. There's the bus station by there. The new library. Yeah, the new library. Museum. I'm trying to see. It looks like the gates are still shut from here, actually. Mm. My eyesight's not that wonderful. Oh, there's that super, super old bridge. We vlogged about that in the past. The old Welsh flag. Oh, is it? Oh, the black and yellow. Before the red dragon came the flag. It's half past five in the evening now. I just committed a vlogger atrocity because I've already filmed loads and loads today because I checked. But I went shopping and I didn't film it. Oh, don't come for me. Anyway, I'm going to do you a very quick haul because I know we're a bit short of time. Otherwise, you know, you won't be able to go and get on with your lives. Right, so I got some ground coffee. It was, I, I don't know if it was like in the, some special section or something, but they weren't in the coffee section, but I got two. I bought myself some vine tomatoes, which I'll probably fry up in a pan. Got a courgette. They've got a Spanish thing going on in Lidl's at the moment. So I bought this tiny little pasta because Izzy loves that. And actually, so do I. Uh, couldn't resist box of five cream eggs Noki was knockied down to 83p so I had that I had a fine specimen of an aubergine look at that shiny coat <sighs> giant pretzel for Isabel kefir fermented yogurt because I'm still trying to get those live cultures going on in my guts they had some special brown rice cakes trio quinoa and white sesame so go in for some of those they were almost a pound a packet pretzels Isabel is addicted to pretzels I don't even like them 20p for some unwashed wild rocket those were 59p for all those mushrooms they were on a special offer so I got those I got yet more probiotic yogurts um I can't remember how much they were there like no sugar added ones i.e artificial sweetness so I don't know if I'm gonna like them but we'll see a garlic because I'm completely out and two pastéis de nata. I am going to make myself a lovely hot drink and go down and practice my flute in the cellar now because getting ready for the musical weekend coming up next weekend and won't be much longer and I'll be getting my first gig again because they were all cancelled when Omicron kicked in but they're going to start up again soon so yay looking forward to that. So feeling quite motivated to go and do some practice anyway, but I won't film it because I have filmed an epic amount for this vlog today. Please could you give it a like if you liked it. It really helps this channel to grow. I so appreciate that. And if you're new here and would like to follow more of my story here in South Wales, do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.